I'm Venus. I am living in the community in Tantra movement since um, almost three months now. And the last month I was doing the Tantra teacher's course. And yeah, it was um, a really interesting time I was um, having here. And um, with a lot of uh, growth and um, surprisingly uh, deep um, experiences in Tantra. So my experience with Tantra movement um, was uh, really diverse. So um, I was arriving here and it's an interesting place. It's definitely um, not really conventional. Um, we have a beautiful community here, like always amazing people um, living here and we're co-creating together and um, always some, some new energy is coming in with new people, with the volunteers which are living here and now also the people who came for the Tantra's Teachers course and um, yeah, I was making a lot of amazing experiences here. It was definitely also really challenging. But all in all, like really worth it. Hmm. What is Tantra to me? One of the most interesting questions, I would say. I think if you would ask like 100 people, you would probably get 100 different uh, answers. So I try to tell you what is my idea about Tantra. So I think Tantra is... Um, a life's philosophy, the philosophy of unconditional love and you try to bring more love and more consciousness, more awareness in everything in your life. So through like shadow work and trauma release and really the commitment to look at everything what is there, you release the things which doesn't serve you anymore and um, yeah, let go of old patterns and um, make space for more pleasure and joy in your life. And, um, yeah, it's a journey of self-discovery and um, what you will find is uh, really often really surprisingly and it's also like um, finding out who you really are also in the connection with other people and yeah, you will really find more depth in your life when yeah, you go through the processes and really commit to um, self-development and growth and um, facing your fears and insecurities and this at the end makes you a more conscious human being and um, yeah with more awareness in your entire life which um, tantric practices here I find most beneficial um, I think it's definitely the work with boundaries so you really come into situations where you at first find out where are your boundaries and then really practice to also communicate them and with other people who really respect them and um, encourage you to communicate and respect your own boundaries and um, which other practices were most beneficial so all the Tantric communication is um, for me really interesting because it brings so much authenticity and so much truth into human connections and I think these practices are definitely something what you can bring into your daily life and use in all of your, your relationships um, with friends, with family, with um, your loved ones. Um, what is community for me and how do I see the community in Tantra movement? So community in general for me is people living together and support each other and accept each other's um, uniqueness and um, yeah with like uniting the forces creating something what you could not do when you are alone. So it definitely um, needs a lot of flexibility, compassion, um, the ability to truly communicate and um, yeah, being, being aware of your surroundings and sometimes also like put your ego down, 
but also communicate like your needs and your boundaries so other people also know them and can respect them. And here in Tantra Movement, we were living with a lot of different people together and it was definitely um, pretty alive. And um, yeah, we had like amazing people who, who brought their energy in here. And um, yeah, this just like was an enrichment for the whole community. And yeah, it's definitely a bit unorganized, so um, a lot of improvisation, but uh, this also brings the best out in people, so <laughs> it actually, um, yeah, it works. So yeah, the most value I found here in the true connections and in the depth which were like yeah just generated through the people who are here together and yeah the space we, we created together where was so much mm, safety to really feel into the deepest um, fears of yourself and deepest shadows and we were yeah holding the space for each other to deeply truly heal and um, all this on the base of unconditional love.